Hey Laura, you there? We need to have a serious talk. Seriously, you really expect me to eat the garbage you packed for my lunch? Especially after how terrible last night's dinner was? How about putting in some effort when you cook next time, huh? Excuse me? Are you for real? Joey, how about thanking me for even packing your lunch? If you're gonna act like this, just buy your lunch from the office. I'm not gonna wake up extra early to cook for you if you're gonna be like this. Oh, come on. Your cooking isn't even worth the effort you put into it. Today's lunch is just awful. What's the point of packing my lunch if you're just stuffing it with reheated junk from the freezer? Can't you add some variety? Joey, you set the grocery budget? I'm working within the limits you've given me. But while we're at it, let's talk about your drinking. Don't you think you're spending too much there? And what's wrong if I want to use my hard-earned money on a drink now and then? Because it's not just now and then, and we're barely making ends meet with our current budget. We need to be careful where we spend our money. We've discussed this. So you're really gonna tell me, the one with the real job, to cut back on my spending? I'm just saying, you tend to overspend when you go out, that's all. I can't believe you're coming after me. After everything I've done for this family. Can't I even treat myself once in a while? Of course you can. I'm not saying you can't relax. I'm just asking you to be more mindful of your spending, that's all. You're making such a big deal out of this. There is no way that I'm even spending that much. Why are you doing this right now? Look, Joey, I am just telling you that at this rate, we aren't able to put enough aside to be able to save up money. I mean, what are we going to do if there's some kind of emergency or something like that? If living within our budget is really that difficult for you, then we'll just have to find a way to bring in more money. I'll have you know that my job gives me a raise every single year. Are you really telling me that that isn't enough? Well, maybe I could just ask your mom if she wouldn't mind if I went out and found at least a part-time job so I could contribute a little. And if I did that, then I could buy nice food to pack for your lunches. No, that isn't going to happen. I know my mom would rather have you at home. After all, we haven't even been married a year. You can't just go out and find a job so suddenly. Okay, then if you really don't want me to have a job, then I need you to cooperate with me on this a little more, okay? Because I'm doing all I can at home to make sure that we're within our budget. I haven't even bought any clothes for myself in six months. And just why on earth would a housewife like you even need new clothes, huh? Who are you planning to dress up for? I'm not dressing up for anyone, but I am saying that if I don't need new clothes, then maybe you don't either. Surely you'd be fine with the suit that you always wear to work, right? Well then, what am I supposed to wear on my days off then, huh? Well, it isn't like you have no clothes right now. You could just wear what you have, right? Wait a second. I see what's going on here. You keep going on and on about how we're supposed to be saving money. But really, you just don't want me to be buying any things for myself. Isn't that right? Of course not. I'm saying that we both have to make sure that we're doing our best to stay within our budget. And you know how grateful I am for all the work you do to support us all. Well, if you were really grateful, then you would try even harder to cut down on the budget at home. Because the way you're talking, you're making it sound like I'm going around buying fur coats for myself. Maybe you should check yourself before pointing the finger at others. But I'm already doing everything that I could possibly be doing to try and save money. All I'm asking is that you cut back your spending a little bit. Is that really so much? And I'm telling you that I'm sure that you're not doing enough. For example, do you have the AC on right now? The AC? Well, yes, I do have it on actually. Well, there you go. Turn it off right now. Joey, come on. You can't be serious, right? It's summer and we're in the middle of a heat wave. Do you think people 100 years ago had AC and that they could use it on days like this? Of course not. And yet, somehow they survived and managed to get through their days. You're just spoiled with all the comforts of home that you get to enjoy while I'm at work. But Joey, the news is always talking about how the heat waves are getting worse and worse every single year. They're all just babies who are too used to having things like AC and heaters. They don't even know how to live in our world anymore. Besides, if it's really that hot, then you would probably have the AC turned up pretty high, don't you? Do you think that's free? The reason we weren't able to save any money is because how much you're using appliances like that. Joey, 
You don't really think that, do you? Are you really telling me to stay in the house with no AC? I'm only giving you advice on how to save money. Since you're complaining about how you can't think of what else you can do. Besides, you're just a housewife. It's not like you're even doing enough to build up a sweater or anything. Just crack some windows and it'll be fine. Joey, I really think that you're being unreasonable right now. You can't be serious about this. I have had just about enough of your whining. I've told you what you need to do. Now do it. If you really are worried about something you can start with. And if that isn't enough, then I'll think of other ways too. But it's so humid outside. Opening the windows is only going to let the humidity get inside the house. Okay then. Keep the windows closed then. Are you really gonna complain about all these options I'm giving you? If you get really hot, just go outside and stand inside some store until you cool down. But I've made myself clear with you. I do not want you using the AC from here on out. So don't even think about it. Hey Joey, can you talk right now? I was just wondering where you are right now. I'm out eating with some friends, if you must know. Well, you have to get back home right now, please. Are you kidding me? Are you really trying to order me around on my day off? I can't believe you sometimes, Laura. No, it's a real emergency. I just got back home from the grocery store and, well, someone has completely removed our AC unit. Did you do this? Please tell me this wasn't you. Of course, it was me. I know you were still using it, so I had to take things into my own hands. Joey, please! It's almost 100 degrees outside, and if I don't open the windows, then the house becomes a sweat lodge. I just don't get why you think you deserve to have any AC when you don't even have a job. You really ought to be thankful that you have it so easy as a housewife. Please, Joey. It's like you're trying to punish me for something that I didn't even do. Something you didn't do? You broke your promise to me, didn't you? I told you that I didn't want you using it. And you still did. And now you have the nerve to try and order me around while I'm out with my friends? You really are an annoying woman, do you know that? But I was going to make us all dinner. You didn't even tell me that you had plans to go out at all. And I know that if I put these leftovers in your lunchbox, that you'll just get upset at me. So it's basically just a waste of food, but I really am trying to do all we can to save money. Good. You should keep doing that. Just quit asking me for help. You're an adult. Figure this out by yourself. Joey, you are going to put our AC unit back in place when you get home, because this is not the way that we should be trying to save money. <laughs> you wish. I had to watch your video on how to even get that thing out there in the first place. I don't know how to put it back. And I know that you certainly don't either. Well then, what are we going to do? You're really just going to keep our house like this? Hmm, I guess that means you'll probably have to call someone to reinstall it, huh? But wait, you can't do that because it'll cost too much money. And we're trying to save, right? <laughs> I don't even know what to say to you right now. I mean, you do realize that you're going to be hot in our house as well, right? Oh, that's fine. I'm really only ever in the house when I sleep or wake up. Otherwise, I'm in my cool office for the rest of it. I can't stand a little heat if it means making sure that you don't get to use the AC at all. Joey, I didn't want to mention this to you, but I've actually been feeling quite ill the past few days. Oh, it's probably just a cold or allergies or something. Maybe some heat will help you. Actually, you can just sweat off whatever this is. Please, Joey, I really haven't felt good all day and it's only getting worse. Man, you're really annoying. I mean, is there any other housewife in the world as needy as you are? You complain about every single little thing. And just what does this have to do with me being a housewife, huh? You do realize that I actually have a lot I need to do every day. Oh, please. You just need to pack my lunch and make dinner. Besides that, you'll probably just sit on a couch all day watching your soap operas. You really think that's all I do? You don't realize that. I also clean the house, keep the garden looking tidy, dust off everything, and much more. Besides, I may be a housewife, but that doesn't make me a maid. You could stand to do more around the house too, you know. 
Here we go again. You and I have already talked about this. And I have told you the answer is no. Now, look. I'm trying to enjoy some quality time with the boys. And all this nagging is ruining my mood. So why don't you leave me alone and go back to all that hard work cleaning the house that you've been always going on about. Just remember that I warned you not to use the AC and you were the one that disobeyed me. If you're so mad about what I did, you only have yourself to blame. Hey there, Laura. I heard that it's supposed to be well over 100 degrees outside today. How's it going? Being inside the house with all that. <laughs> What is the matter with you? Don't you realize what you've done? You really are an idiot. Do you know that? Excuse me? What did you just call me? Just who do you think you're talking to, huh? You really need to learn your place. You know that? You're nothing but a useless housewife who needs to quit acting so uppity. I don't care how hot it is. You better not be using any kind of power to cool yourself down. Well, then why don't you go and tell your office to shut off your AC, huh? Oh. You must think you're really clever coming up with that one, huh? Or are you just trying to get me mad? I'm going to make sure that you don't get to use a single cent on yourself ever again. You idiot! It's because you've been treating your wife like this that she's ended up in the hospital. You really thought that she caught a cold in the middle of a summer like this? She was suffering from heat stroke. Wait, what? What is going on here? Is this not Laura? Just who are you and why are you using my wife's cell phone, huh? Who am I? I'm your boss, Joey. It's me, Andy Henderson. Wait, Andy? I don't understand. What's going on here? Is this supposed to be some kind of joke or something like that? Why are you on my wife's phone? Hold on a second. This whole thing is just ridiculous. Laura, I know it's you. You're nothing but a filthy liar. Do you know that? It isn't a lie? It's really me, Joey. I'm actually in the house right next to yours because my aunt owns it. Hold on. So, this is all really real? For the last time, yes, it's really real. I happen to come over to my aunt's house for lunch, and I happen to see your wife stumble out of your house. She was covered in sweat, shivering, and looked as if she was about to pass out. You're kidding me. She really looked like that? That's right. And just where are you right now? Because I know you're not at the office right now. If you were, then you would have already found out that I was in the hospital with your wife right now. Right. Well, I just... I had some things that I needed to do, and so I step out for the day. Well, you should know that it was your wife who asked me to reach out to you and message you on her phone. But I have to say that I'm just shocked at what you yourself admitted to. I mean... How could you remove your own AC unit in your house? Not only that, but your wife told me that she found a hidden fan that you kept when you would go to sleep in the other room. How could you do this to your own wife? You're just awful. No, no, wait. You don't understand, Andy. This is just all part of a little spousal spat between us, nothing else. I really didn't mean to bring you into this. I'm so sorry, my wife tried to suck you into this. I am not the one you should be apologizing to right now, Joey. You're right. Please tell my wife how sorry I am that this went this far. By the way, which hospital is she in right now? No. Your wife doesn't want you to know where she is or for you to come and visit her. She only asked that I text you for her. Wait, she doesn't want me to visit her? Well, then, what is it that she wants to say to me? Well, she wants me to let you know that she wants a divorce. Hold on a second. You can't be serious about that, right? I'm afraid that she's very serious. She is sick of living under such a selfish man with so little regard for his own wife's well-being. But you mean... I'm sorry, Andy. Can you please just let me talk to my wife right now? I know that she's sick and she really doesn't know what she's saying at all. Oh, give me a break. This is all your fault and you know it. You know, I have friends who live in Alaska, and even up there, they have to have their AC on. You're just crazy if you think that humans can survive in a heat like this. You're right, sir. I shouldn't have done this. It was all a mistake. It's no wonder your wife wants to leave you. 
Wait, boss, please, can you at least tell me where my wife is right now? Your wife told me that she doesn't want you coming anywhere near here. But you should know that even before I text you, your own mom reached out and asked me if she could come visit. Your wife said it was okay. And when your mom got here, she was begging for Laura's forgiveness after all that you did. As for you, I want you back in the office now. I'll be waiting in meeting room number four. But what is going on there? Is there a meeting today that I didn't know about? Didn't you hear? The AC is broken in that room. It's the hottest room in the whole office. And now it will be all yours to use. Laura, please. Just how long is it going to be until you come back home? Surely, you must be feeling better now, right? I said I'm sorry, didn't I? Shouldn't that be enough? You aren't really going to divorce me, are you? Of course we're still getting divorced. But don't worry, I'll come over sometime this week to collect my things. Laura, you really actually responded to me. Please, you have to know how sorry I am for everything. I really don't want to hear it, Joey. Just sign the divorce papers and let's get this over with. You're really serious about this, aren't you? You really want to just end it all? Was it really that bad being with me? Of course it was. And now I just don't see any point at all in staying with you for another day. Please, don't say that. You have to know that I realized what I did was wrong. Not only that, but my boss has been forcing me to work in the only room in the building without AC. It is literally a sauna. It's got a window that lets sunlight in for almost the entire day. I have to bring a towel to work just so that I don't end up in a complete mess. Well, I am glad that at least it sounds like you're getting a taste of your own medicine. But if you think that's going to change my mind, then you've got another thing coming. At least now you realize what it was you were putting me through this whole time. I just hope that you know now that you can't treat people the way that you were treating me. You literally destroyed part of your house just to make a petty point. I know, but I just... I didn't think that you were going to have to go to the hospital for this. Have you ever been watching the news? This summer is so bad that there's been cases of heat stroke happening all over the city. I'm sorry. I really had no idea. I didn't think it would affect you like that. Well, I complained to you about it again and again, didn't I? And yet you refused to listen to a word I said. You just told me to stay inside the hothouse and not use any electricity while you went out to be with your friends. I mean, what kind of husband doesn't let his own wife use the AC? How messed up is that? You really think that I enjoy keeping the house clean and doing all of the cooking? You're only just now starting to understand what you've put me through. I know, but now I do understand. I swear. I mean, it's just so hot. I can barely even concentrate on my work. And I just assumed that you had it easy staying at home all day. I guess I got a little bit jealous over what I was picturing in my head. And now you realize that's it. The whole thing was always just in your head, and I never had it as easy as you thought I did. Besides, I wanted to be out there working. I wanted to be helping us earn money. But you were the one who told me that I wasn't allowed to. But I really wanted you to look after my mom. Surely you would have preferred staying at home with her over working, right? Of course not. I told you over and over again that I wanted to be in an office working. But this is my mom we're talking about. What was I supposed to do about her if you weren't going to be there to look after her? You think that she can't take care of herself? She's not even that old. But if you were really that worried, then you could have let me go to work and hired a nurse or something. You know that we wouldn't be having as many money problems as we are now if you would just let me go out and work like I wanted to in the first place. But no, I was kind enough to hold my tongue for as long as I could and do what you told me to because I thought it would be easier. And you just took that as permission to dump all of the work of taking care of your mom on me. And anytime I asked for your help or for you to take my side, you treated me like I was asking for the world. Well, I am not going to let you boss me around anymore. I am the one who knows what's best for me, and I am going to put as much distance as I can between you and your mom. Joey tried to drag the divorce process out for as long as he could, but I already know how to be patient enough to wait him out. Not to mention the fact that he was being seen as liable for my heat stroke. In the end, he knew that he had no other choice but to sign. 
After the divorce, however, rumors began to fly around his work about what had happened. I heard that he was only able to last a few more months there before all the rumors and whispering drove him to quit his job. Then I heard that Joey began to put all of the blame for his divorce and losing his job on his mom. He said that if she didn't insist I stayed home, that none of this would have happened. As for me, I took the alimony money and used it to move far, far away from Joey and his mom. I found an apartment for myself and have already started at a new job, 